Uh, this morning we are talking live with the Yuma County Supervisor and Jonathan Lines. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, obviously it is an overwhelming uh, situation. Good morning. Uh, good morning and we're, we're predicting what what's happening uh, here tomorrow. What are you doing there in your communities to be ready for this change? First and foremost, we've had a set of exercises with state, local, and federal officials to determine the best course of action. It's difficult to plan for this type of a surge when the unknown is exactly what you're dealing with. Uh, you're not sure how many people are going to actually show up uh, and how fast they'll be able to be transported out of the community to transportation in uh, higher uh, density areas like Phoenix, San Diego. Uh, where transportation is more plentiful. The challenges that we have here on the ground in Yuma, Arizona are a lack of transportation. Uh, we appreciate uh, AZ DEMA stepping up, uh, working in conjunction with uh, Governor Hobbs to relieve some of the pressure that we feel in these small rural communities. The federal government has failed at the border, um, but you're there, uh, we're not. Tell us what it's really like there. What, what is it there? So every morning at uh, about two o'clock approximately, uh, we start seeing people cross the border. The majority of them have landed at the airport in Mexicali. From Mexicali, they've taken an Uber or a bus over to the border. Uh, just behind us, just outside of Algodones in Baja California, and they wait uh, and then come across and start lining up peacefully uh, to cross the border. These aren't necessarily the people that are uh, concerning to us. The people that we are worried about are the people who try to evade law enforcement. Mm -hmm. So they come here with uh, perhaps uh, an ulterior motive, you know, the human trafficking is on a rise as well as the narcotics in this area and fentanyl is at an all-time high c crossing the border. <clears throat> While Border Patrol is busy with these people in other areas of the border, that's where we start seeing the bad actors and the narcotics coming across. Last week we had a group of people dumped in the middle of the desert. That was a distraction for Border Patrol as well as children under the age of 10 that were left abandoned in the middle of the mm -hmm. desert. So they the uh, cartels are still clearly in control of the border and uh, you just you never know what you're going to see on a daily basis. Yeah. Well, listen, we appreciate your insight. Uh, we'll be hopefully talking to you over the next few days as uh, we see more and more people lining up there. So thank you again. We appreciate your time.